wherever two or more people are in his name, Jesus said he is here with us. So Jesus is here with us. We're going to start by prayer. In, uh, we start our prayer. I want somebody to, um, if, if, if somebody would like to lead us in prayer, just give us an opening prayer. By the way, my name is Sister Conchetta or Conchetta. Okay, so if you have anything you want to call me, my name is Sister Conchetta. Um, amen. So, Brother uh, Edwin, is Brother Edwin available to pray for us? I don't know if I'm mentioning the name right. Oh, Brother Benjamin. Can you hear me? I think he's muted. Okay. I don't know why he's muted. Brother Benjamin, if you can unmute your, your phone, I think yours is muted. And add ones to close okay. to the yeah, okay. Okay, so, uh, um, okay. any one of you can lead us in prayer. You just give us an open prayer. Can you leave? Is somebody able to do that? I'll do it. God bless you. Could we, all bow, uh, could we all close our eyes? We thank you, Lord, for giving us the breath of life. We thank you, Lord, for being with us and continue to help us. As, we're to, as we gather today to learn your word, wish for the Holy Spirit to be with us and give us understanding and wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Who, who, who prayed? What's your name, please? Brittany. Brittany. God bless you, Sister Brittany. My name is Sister Conchetta. Okay. Okay. Um, and today we are, we are, um, I really, really apologize to every one of you. Um, I, I don't know what was going on. I was on 130 trying to put it together and for some reason if your background is noisy can you can please mute it and you can unmute it when it's it's not noisy okay god bless you so um i'm very sorry for that and we're gonna go ahead and um we're gonna go ahead and learn what we are supposed to learn today and the Holy Spirit is here with us. Feel free if you have any suggestions, any questions, we'll give a room to question. Because of the time, we're just gonna have to end at two thirty, or you know, before the the um, the uh, you know we start the main service, the evening service. We don't want to get into their their time. Okay, so we're gonna um, talk about something great today. I don't know what you all did uh, during the the week. What did you do? Is that uh, um, Edwin in red? Uh, which one, Edwin or Benjamin? Oh, sorry. I think your your yours is uh, muted. Let me see. Can you unmute yourself? It's Edwin. Edwin. Okay, and I see Brayton too. Um. Okay, so what did you do during the during the week? How was school? How was everything? Okay, it was good. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. So we are here to learn about the Word of God, and I believe that you have learned a lot, a lot. I was watching some of your videos, and I I, I seen you two there. So um, you guys were doing a lot, a lot, but um. Today we're going to learn about sharing our faith, sharing our faith, sharing our faith. We're going to learn about sharing our faith. Um, I, I hope you have your Bibles with you. 
Do we have our Bibles with us? No. You don't have your Bibles with you? I'm going to get it. Okay, thank you. Please grab your Bibles because we are going to go into the Bible. Okay. When you have your Bible, say amen. 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 Okay. Okay, open your Bibles to, we're going to, our topic, write it down if you have a book and paper as well. I'll, I'll encourage everybody to have a paper and a book. I mean, a, 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 sorry, <laughs> a book and a pencil, a book and a pen. Okay, write sharing of your faith or witnessing. Write it down. And we're going to read John chapter 1. Let me give you these scriptures. Um, these are the key scriptures. You can write them down now so that when we open them, you know where we're going. John chapter 1, verse 43, 251. John chapter 4, verse 4 to 10. John chapter 4, verse 28 to 30. 21. No, 28. 28 to 30. John chapter 4, verse 39 to 42. 42. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have, since we are three people on there, um, you know, these scriptures are very long, so I'll let you read some scriptures, but I'm going to read these ones because, because of time, okay? I'll let you read some scriptures as time goes on, so just um, open your Bibles to John for us, everyone. We're starting from chapter 1. Okay, 43 to 51, I read. If you can't hear me, let me know, okay? If my phone goes on mute, okay? Okay. Uh, it says, uh, the following day, Jesus would go forth into Galilee and find it Philip and say it unto him, follow me. Now Philip was, was of Beth Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip findeth Nathanael and said unto him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, whom is no girl. Nathanael said unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou wast under the fig tree, I saw thee. Nathanael answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. Thou art the king of Israel. So Jesus, Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou, thou shalt see great, greater things than these. Amen. 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 And the last one says, And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending. Okay. So uh, we see over here what we just read as Jesus Christ, first of all, he shared his faith. You see, Jesus Christ, the Bible said, if you read the verse 43, you see that Jesus Christ shared his faith. He went, he went all over, you know, he went forth into Galilee. He, he went forth from where he was, from his house, went into a different place and started sharing his faith. He, he called unto Philip, you know, and then Philip, called onto, you know, his, his, his uh, he, uh, he, he, he looked for Nathaniel. He called for Andrew. He called for Peter. One thing that we should, we, we, we should understand that Jesus Christ, everything that Jesus Christ is doing is an example for us to follow. Hallelujah. Everything that Jesus Christ is doing is for, and it's an example 
for us to follow. He did it, so we must do it. We must share our faith. We must witness to the world. We must witness to our friends. You see, Jesus Christ witnessed to Andrew, Peter, Philip, and even Nathaniel, and all the disciples that Jesus had. So we see how Jesus approached these people. The, the amazing thing is, was that, you know, when, when Jesus find, found Philip, Philip went to look for Nathaniel. You know, um, some of us, we have friends and we have, I believe all of you have friends, you know. You have relatives, you have family members and others. And uh, when, we, when we see the light, when we come to hear about Jesus, we want to share to them. We want to let them know what we also have received. Jesus Christ did that. Philip did that. And that is why we must also do it if we love Jesus. Okay? John 4, verse 4 to 10. The same John. It says, and he must, he must uh, need go through Samaria. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sacre, near to the parcel of, of ground that Jacob gave to his son, Joseph. Okay. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well. And it was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then says the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who is it is that says to thee, Give me to drink. Thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Hallelujah. You see, Jesus once again, he, he had every opportunity that he had. He, 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 had. he used it to, to, uh, to evangelize. He used it to spread the gospel. And the Bible said that he was hungry. He was tired. And when he sat down, and somebody came around, he found the opportunity to, uh, to minister unto this woman. Okay? So we also have to have that in mind. Wherever we'll be, we might be at the football game, we might be at a soccer game, whatever, wherever you may be, if you get the opportunity to, to tell somebody about Jesus, you, you, you know, use that opportunity to do that. Okay? Jesus used this opportunity to tell the, the Samaritan woman. It doesn't matter who the person is. The person might be a Muslim. Don't look at them where they are coming from, but just share the gospel with them. Uh, John, the same John chapter 4, verse 28 to 30. I would like one of you to read, if you don't mind, either Benjamin, Brittany, or Ed, Edwin. You can read um, John chapter 4, verse 28 to 30. John chapter 4, verse 28 to 30. Yes. The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and said to the men, Come see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this, is not this the Christ? Verse 30. Then they went out of the city and came unto him. Amen. 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 God bless you. Um, it says that the woman, this, this is the same woman that Jesus Christ talked to. Jesus Christ talked to her, her and talked and said many, many things that shocked her. You know, she don't know anything about, she don't know, she don't know Jesus from anywhere. All of a sudden, Jesus started telling her about, you know, about him, he being the savior, that he will give him the living water. You no, know, so Jesus, Jesus spoke this and Jesus spoke so many things unto her. 
because it was the gift of the Holy Spirit that gave, you know, that um, Jesus Christ is, he is God. He knows all things. We, we are not, <laughs> we are not God, but we have the Holy Spirit. You know, the Holy Spirit has his gifts. He gives to you. If you do that, if you evangelize, he will give it to you. Sometimes you approach somebody and you tell them certain things and they begin to cry. You yourself don't know, don't know these things about them already, but the Holy Spirit give you those words and you begin to tell them, they begin to cry. This woman had that encounter. And one thing that is so amazing, she left her water pot. That was so important to her. She left it there and she ran to the city and she said, come and see, come, come, everybody, come and see, come and see this man that told me every, all that I was. He told me everything that I ever did. It's not this that Christ, Christ means savior. Okay. The word Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is savior. Okay. So it says, isn't this, isn't this the savior who has come to save me? He told me everything that I ever did. Then she, she went to blow the trumpet in the city. So what do we need to do? We also need to blow the trumpet. Don't be shy to blow the trumpet. We need to do that. You know, don't, don't worry about what people are going to tell you because these people, they need help. There's so many people that need help. They look, they look like everything is okay. But tell you the truth, no, it's not okay. They need, they need help. They'll be laughing. They'll be, you know, saying all kinds of curse words to just get, get away. Some people smoke, some people drink just to say all kinds of, just to cover up their, their, you know, their pain, what they are going through. But when you approach them with the love on the message of Jesus Christ, they will, what, they will, they will be, they, 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 they will be set free and they will begin to tell their friends the other smokers and other people that today now I'm not I'm no more a smoker now I am free you know it will be a testimony so we should be doing that we should be doing just like this woman we should be going to our friends we should be going out we should be what we should be proud of who we are in Christ and tell people that Jesus loves them that Jesus is God that we have this faith that we have received of, of the Lord. And we, we are so excited about it. And we want to share with you. We should be doing that. Amen. Um, John chapter 4 verse 39 to 42. I think people join us. Uh, Fred, Isaac, and Nadia. Sister Nadia, brother Fred, and um, brother Isaac. You are welcome. You are welcome. Okay, so um, we are we are talking about sharing, sharing of our faith. Okay, sharing of our faith. So if anybody, John chapter four, verse thirty nine to forty two for us. Sister Nadia, did you want to read? Oh, I think I think your your um okay, I'll meet your mic. Thank you. I can't I can't hear. It. I don't know why your mic is not. We still can't hear you. Okay, we're gonna ask um brother Benjamin. We can't hear you, sister Nadia. I think your mic is it's muted somewhere, somewhere. I don't know. Something wrong with let me. Because I unmuted all of them, but it's still not. Okay, brother Benjamin. Hello. Hello, Brother Benjamin. Are you I able to? I doesn't have for English, but oh, you don't have. No, I sorry. doesn't have. Oh, I'm sorry. Where, 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 what, what country are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, mm -hmm. Is it Germany? Are you in Germany? No, Holland. Uh -oh. He said, "Hold on, he's gonna read." 
Hold on. Okay, sir. I will hold on for you. Auntie, can you hear me, please? I can hear you now. Okay. So, Bra Brother Benjamin said, hold on. I think he's going to read for us. So let's see. Uh oh. Okay, um, who has Sister Nadia? Sister Nadia, go ahead and read for us. John chapter 4, verse 39. Yes. To 42. We are listening. John chapter 4, verse 39. Is it to 32? For 42. Oh, John chapter 39 to 42. It says, Many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told he he told me everything I ever did. Body. So when the Samaritans came to him, they argued they argued him to, to stay with them. And he stayed two days, forty one. And because of his words, many more became believers. Verse 42, they said to the woman, We no longer believe just because of what you said. Now we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this man really is the Savior of the world. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You see, we see here, Aja as a sister rep. We see what our sister just read, that um, what happened? This woman, when she heard the gospel, when she heard the news that Jesus, what Jesus did for her, she didn't hide it. She didn't hide it. If you find a treasure, you want everybody to know. Let's say if you have a pet, you know, you have, you have a pet. Maybe you have a, a new dog. You want everybody to know that, oh, wow, I got this dog. I got this puppy. I want to show everybody, or oh, you have a new shoe. I remember back in Ghana, you know, when we, when we have new shoe and we go to school, we want everybody to see our, our sneakers, you know, our trainers, our sneakers. We want everybody to see that, yeah, we have the new sneakers, you know, and um, this woman did exactly the same thing. She was very, she was not selfish. She was just, um, you know, open to tell people about this Jesus, this Savior, what he did for her. And the Bible said many people believed. Many people believed. You don't even know. You might not know who will believe the message that, you know, you have. You might not know. You might think, oh, nobody's going to listen to me. This person, even my teacher will not listen to me. But you don't know. You don't know. These people, they were going through a lot. Some of them were even older than this woman and you know back then women were not even recognized in the community but you see she took the opportunity and the stand and she she what she spread to she sprout out the gospel of jesus jesus christ and the people what the people asked they wanted to test if jesus christ is real you know when you told the muslim your friends your 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 people your uh, you know the your neighbors about jesus they're gonna, they, you're gonna tell them that Jesus Christ did this for me. Jesus Christ did that for me. They're gonna test you. They're gonna try to see if this Jesus that you are, you are talking about, that he is really able to do what he says he's able to do. So they asked Jesus to stay with him, with them, and they saw who Jesus really is when Jesus stayed with them. So, as we have heard also the message of the gospel. We got. We have to uh, share. Uh, for for those just that that just came in, Fred, Isaac, and Nadia. If you have your pen and paper, please write John chapter one, verse forty-three to fifty-one. Okay. 
Okay. So John chapter 1 verse 43 to 51, John chapter 4 verse 4 to 10, John chapter 4 verse 28 to 30. In John chapter 4, verse 39 to 42. Okay. Let us know that sharing of our sharing of our faith, of one's faith, is the obvious result of one having a personal encounter with Christ. One cannot keep mute but proclaim to others the wonderful blessing of salvation in Christ through the virgin birth, okay, sinless life, and the vicarious death, and triumphant resurrection. We cannot be quiet, you know, we, whether, whether you are a youth or you are a child, you cannot be quiet. The Bible talks about Jesus Christ at the age of 12. He was preaching to governors. He was preaching to well, lawyers, doctors. When his mother and father was looking for him, they found him <laughs> teaching the lawyers and you know doctors, people who are high in position. What do you do when you are being called before your teacher? You know, what do you do? Sometimes some of us we for even forget about the gospel of our Lord and Savior. That is the opportunity that we can we can use. We can use that opportunity. We can use that opportunity to, to bring the gospel to our teachers, our principals, our mothers. Sometimes our mothers are not safe or our fathers are not. What can we do? We don't have to be quiet. Oh, somebody in my house. I don't know, maybe it's now. Okay. Um... I'm going to just mute. And then if anybody have a, a, a anything to say, they just, just raise their hand or, you know, let me know in the notification. Okay, so um, Jesus doesn't want us to be quiet. He doesn't want us to be muted. Muted means that be quiet and just go to church and just come home and you just read your Bible and, you know, just do your own little thing in your own corner. No, he don't want us to be like that. He wants us to what? Share the gospel. He wants us to share the gospel. What is the faith? What is the faith? The gospel by which one has been saved. What is our, what is our faith? Is, the, our faith is what? The gospel by which one has been saved. We're going to read Romans chapter 1 verse 16. Let me see our time. We don't have much time. Romans chapter 1 verse 16. I'll read, okay? It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Hallelujah. We shouldn't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Be bold. Don't be shy. Don't be shy of the gospel. Don't be ashamed. Oh, if I hold my Bible, maybe my friend will laugh at me. They'll tell me, oh, you look at you. That's why they will laugh at you. They'll mock you. Don't worry. Don't be ashamed. Don't worry about what they do, what they say. You know, we are going to heaven to enjoy. We are going to heaven to enjoy the beautiful things in heaven. Don't be afraid. When you get to heaven, you will be so glad. You will not even remember earth. Not, you will not even remember what was here. So let us be bold to do our, to, to, to spread the gospel. To tell the people that beat us, the people that hate us, tell them that Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Jesus loved them. We need to approach them and tell them, regardless of what they will think of us. Because you know what? Nobody even think of you. Tell, to tell you the truth, these people, they don't think of you. But you know what? To tell them that Jesus loved them, to think of them, it's wonderful. Some people will be like, whoa, I didn't know you think about me that much. They'll be so amazed and they'll be so glad. 
that you were able to uh, share the gospel with them. Um, if we if we read First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse one to three. Um, it says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I, I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received. How, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. You, Paul, this is our, our, our senior brother, Paul, Elder Paul, Apostle Paul. Whatever he received, he preached. Whatever he got from the Lord, he shared. Maybe you are sharing your food. It's good. It's good to share your food. It's good to share your clothes. Give your, you know, if you don't have, if you want to throw your clothes, I'll give it to somebody. Somebody might need it. it. It's good to share food, money. If somebody don't have it and you have it, give it. Give it to them. If they are hungry, give it to them, you know. But let's remember, the most important thing to share is what? The gospel. Because I cannot always give you money. I cannot always give you money, but if I give you the gospel, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, you also can make money. Amen. So we have, why should we share our faith? Why? Why should we share our faith? We should share our faith because it is a command to be obeyed. It is a command to be obeyed. Why should we share our faith? Because it's a command to be obeyed. If you share your faith, you are obeying God. You are obeying Jesus. When we say, I love you, Jesus, Jesus said, if you love me, obey my, my command, my commandments. And so one of the commands of God is to, uh, to, we have to go into the word. We should share our faith. And we see, uh, we see that you can write the scripture down. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 through 20. Matthew 28, verse 18 through 20. And we see over here, Jesus is, is, is a great commission that Jesus commanded um, his disciples who have heard him, who were with him, to go out there and what preach the gospel. Just as he was doing, Jesus was about to leave the earth. He was resurrected and he was going up to heaven. And he said, go as I, 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 was, I was here and I did. Jesus Christ, as we read in um, John, look at what he did. He prayed to the woman, the woman that was not from his country. He's not from his own, you know, you can say, I'm not Ghanaian, I'm not this. I meet a white, I meet an Indian, I meet Chinese. It doesn't matter. Whoever you meet, share the gospel with. Jesus did that. And that's what he told his disciples. He says, all power is given unto me in heaven and earth. So go ye therefore and teach all nations, all nations, all nations. Teach Ghanaian, teach um, Americans, teach Brit Britons, teach um, Germans, teach everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. I don't know where my brother Benjamin, what country he's from, but I believe he's probably out of the country of America. I don't know where but Edwin and Brittany are from, but and Isaac, I think I, I, I might know where Isaac and Nadia are from. I'm thinking maybe America here, but if wherever, wherever you are, please, let's, let's, what, let's spread the gospel. It is a command. It is not it is not like maybe I feel like, oh, I don't feel like, oh, I feel like, I don't feel like. It is something that we have to do. It is our daily thing that we have to do. Jesus did that until he died. He did that until he, was, he died. And that's what he told his disciples to do. Exactly. Even, even, even when he was resurrected, going to heaven, instead of him rejoicing to go to heaven, what did he do? He said, go, go ahead and continue to do what I was doing. 
go and teach them and you know all that he has commanded them whatever you are learning from here every saturday whatever you are learning from this ministry it's not just for you it's for everybody so let's learn to share um it is also the it is also the will of god that all should come to to the saving knowledge you can write it down you know it's a command to to be obeyed why should we share our faith it's a command to be obeyed and it's also the will of god that all should come to the saving knowledge of jesus christ john 3 16 you can also write first timothy chapter 2 verse 5 and you can write um second peter chapter 3 verse 9 okay it is it is the will of god jesus does not want anybody to perish we should know that he does not want anyone to perish and that is why he's always telling you know his people to go to go to what to 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 speak the gospel to preach the gospel to share the gospel with others you uh, i'll read the second peter chapter second peter chapter 3 verse 9 okay and let me see what time okay i'll ask um brother brother fred i know hold on is that brother fred yeah he's the one he's the one smiling i'll ask him to read first timothy chapter 2 verse 5 brother fred will read first timothy chapter 2 verse 5 but i'll read the uh second peter chapter 3 okay i'm gonna help you brother brother fred i don't want you to read all of them i'll, I'll help you so um first peter second peter chapter 3 verse 9 it says the lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to us word not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance okay so brother fred you can go ahead and read for us please it's it are you ready yeah okay for there is one god and one uh, uh, mediator between god and men Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Did you hear that? I, I, I don't know. Can you read, can you read again? Because I think we didn't hear you very well. First Timothy, chapter two, verse five. Yeah. But there is one God and one uh, mediator. Uh huh. Between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. So, all of you heard very loud and clear. For there is what one God, one God, and there is what um, one mediator. Let me. Uh, let me hear you. I don't like the sound. <laughs> yeah, there is one mediator, which is Jesus Christ. No Mohammed. You know, if you go and if you if you talk talk it to somebody, and they say, "I already believe in the Lord. I already believe in. I have a God." You know, what, that's one thing that we should realize that when we share the gospel, don't just say God loves you. Say Jesus, because some people say God loves you, but really it's not God. It's not the Jesus that they are serving. They, they, they are uh, Hindus, they are uh, Islam, you know, and all other things, Muslims, and all other things. They believe, they, most people believe in God, but they don't believe in Jesus. So if you are sharing the gospel to your friends, tell them Jesus loves them. Don't just say God loves you. Just tell them Jesus loves them. And if they say that, oh, we're serving the same God. You are Muslim. I am also a Christian. We believe in the same God. Tell them that we believe in Jesus and we know that he is the mediator. And without him, you cannot be saved. Tell them in love. You cannot be saved without him. Without him. 
It is the truth. Bible says, John 3, 16. I hope, I hope you wrote it down. John 3, 16. We are not going to read it, but I, I, I believe that we know this scripture. That God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son. Only begotten son is Jesus. Not Mohammed. Not um, Hare Krishna. Or other religions, that other names that you hear. It's only Jesus. Okay? And only through him you will be saved. And also you can write, people need to hear the word to believe. People need to hear the word of God to believe. Um, write these scriptures down. Romans chapter 10, verse 13 to 15. Uh, Romans chapter 10, verse, verse 13 to 15. You know, um, I'm not going to read all this because I know we have, our time is limited as well. But I want us to understand that when, when we, we, we talk to them about the Lord, if they call upon the Lord Jesus, he will save them. He will save them. You know, many people need salvation. They need a savior. It's only Jesus, Jesus that will save them. People need to hear the word to believe. They need to hear from you. They need to hear somebody. They always see you, but they haven't heard anything from you. You always talk about your hair. You always talk about your shoes, your dress. You always talk about the, what you want to do, but you have never shared the gospel with them. They need to hear the word to believe. Like right now, we are telling you the word. And every time you are hearing, oh, and you are reading, oh, this is true, oh. They also need to know that so that they can believe. And we can also put down, man is lost without Christ. Man is lost. Is lost without Christ. John 3, 18. John 3, 36. John 14, 6. 1 John 5, 12. Man is lost without Christ. Um, John 14, verse 6. Jesus said he is the way. We all know this scripture, right? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to God but through Jesus. So you can let them know. These are some of the scriptures that if you write them down, you read it over and over again, and you go to school or you go, to the, you go, to, uh, you go outside to shop and whatever, or you go to your day, day at day evangelism. But sometimes you have some days that you go out to evangelize. Maybe you, you're with your parents or with your friends. You can go here, you can go to a place and you say, oh, we're going to evangelize. And then if you have these scriptures, there is no way that they cannot, you know, believe. It's up to them to believe. Don't, don't um, worry because you, do, you did your part. Okay, so we come to what to share. We share the gospel message. When we go out, we share the gospel message. You don't go share somebody's, you know, somebody's shoe, somebody this. Yeah, we can't, sometimes we, we know our friends, we can relate to them in some way. But when you go out there, make sure that we have one thing in, in mind. We are going to what, win souls. We are going to win souls. Be soul winners. And we can write John chapter 3 verse 16. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 1 to 3. And John chapter 3, verse 16. When we go there, we share the gospel with them. We can also share our personal experience. Our personal um, testimony or experience. How we came to be saved. How we came to be saved. How we came to Christ. You can share to them. Maybe you, you can tell them that me, as for me, I was disrespectful to my parents. 
As for me, I, I went to church, but I always, you know, did not respect the word of God. I, was, I always did not do this. I always did not do that. But Jesus Christ saved me. He brought me out. They can relate to your life, life past life, what you did. And then it can help them to, be, to also have hope that they also can, can turn out to be good. We see that in Acts chapter 26, verse 12 to 23. When it comes to Paul, Paul testifies about how Jesus Christ came. Um, uh, the Lord told him on that road to, uh, to Damascus to destroy the Christian. The Lord spoke from the sky. He spoke from heaven unto Paul. And so Paul was, what Paul was testifying about how he testified to the king Agrippa. If you read that, if you have... If you, after this program, you can have time and go over the scriptures. And also, how do we, it says the means of sharing, the means of sharing, witnessing of life. This is when the believer uses his Christ-like character, change life and good work to influence people and to convince them of the power of Christ to save people in his or in her in his or her environment, he or she is thus a light in the dark and a salt of the earth. Hallelujah. We what we can use our life, what we what, what you know, our character, who we are. You know, sometimes you go and tell somebody about the gospel, but the person knows that you are you are a liar. You know, the person knows that you, you talk to your parents anyhow. The person knows that. You are not serious in life. They're not going to listen to you. So as much as we are going to talk to people, let us work in us. Let us work in us and let us be example to them. Okay? Sometimes when you go and talk to these people, they always see you don't say hi to them. You know, here in America, there are some places that they don't say hi. When they see you, they just pass. When you talk to them, they take their eyes off you as if you are talking to the wall. You know? Don't be like that. Let us be different. Christians, we say hi. Even when they don't say hi to you, don't worry. Just say hi. Don't worry. Because you don't know. Maybe the same person that you are saying hi to or the same person you meet somewhere else and they will say, oh, you know, and they will, you will help them and they will, be, they will be ashamed. You know, you never know. You never know, you never know what's going to happen in life. So let us be a light in the dark because this world is dark, darkness and the Lord is sending you, not, not sending anybody but you. You, everyone, the Lord is sending me. He's sending you individually. Don't say, oh, uh, he's sending Brittany. Oh, he's sending Benjamin. The Lord is sending you. He's sending you to go and speak to that sister. So let us, let our lives be right. Let us what, be obedient as the word of God says. Let us, what, let us uh, read our Bible and be like Jesus Christ. Because we want, we want to go to heaven as well. We want to go to heaven as well. And also we can witness with what our lips, like we just said, you know, this is the presentation of the gospel through preaching or sharing of personal testimonies, okay? So you can share your testimony like, hey, you know, I, the Lord Jesus did this for me. Hey, you know, man, I was, I was just like you. I, you know, I wanted, I wanted to smoke. Somebody presented some, um, um, uh, drugs to me, cocaine or um, cigarette to me, but you know what? Jesus saved me out of those things, and uh, and today I'm telling you that. G tell them your personal life. You know, back in Africa, you might not have smoked any anything, but maybe you did something. You, some people steal, some people steal, and which is wrong. So you can tell them Jesus delivered me out of these things. If Jesus delivered me out of stealing, Jesus can deliver you too. You can share the, your testimony. That is a very, very, sometimes testimonies are very, very precious because people, they want to know and relate and see how, how also maybe, maybe they are doing the same thing. Some people are doing the same thing. Partying, they are partying from here to here. Some people, they are teenagers. You know, teenagers in America here, America, nobody is a kiddo from the age of, five, six, seven years old, they know everything. They know everything. So as teenagers, you know, parties, 
parties, too much party. But when Jesus saved you, you stay home, you study, you read your Bible, you'll be obedient to your parents, you focus on life. You can tell them, then they can also, what they see this and they will be able to practice it. Our last scripture that we can write down is Acts 20, verse 20. Or, and John, sorry, John chapter 4. You can write the whole John chapter 4. We already talked about it. So if you already wrote John chapter 4, verse 1 to 51, that's okay. You can, um, you can um, read the whole John chapter 4, okay? In Acts chapter 20, verse 20. Mm. Um, I want us to hear the last thing that I want us to say. Practical, practical hints on how to share. Think of two or three people whom you would like to share with amongst your friends, okay? If you, if you have friends, workmates, you know, I know some of you probably, I don't know if you are working or not, but if you have, um, you know, a co-worker or workmate or family members, begin to pray for them, okay? Begin to pray for them. Pray for their daily, daily needs. Pray for them for also for the opportunity and courage to share with them. Some people, you know that they are very, very stubborn. They are family members, but they are very, very stubborn. You can pray. Pray for them that God will open their heart. Okay? And also utilize every opportunity granted by God to act. Talk to them about Jesus and nothing else. Okay? Talk to them about Jesus and nothing else. Be ready to follow up and encourage new believers. Okay? Let's encourage people. You know, you already, if you already spoke to a friend or, you know, somebody you know, um, you, you already talked to them about the Lord, follow up with them and see how they are doing. They might be needing something. Sometimes they might be going through something that they want to get out of. They need you to help them, maybe in prayer, you know, and, and you know, follow up. Follow up is very good. And also, eventually, you know, lead them to church. Bring them to the ministry. Bring them. They might not have any place to go. Bring them. Tell them that, hey, I have this ministry that, you know, I fellowship with. I think it can help you to grow. Okay? Jesus loves everyone, and he wants us all to grow. So he wants us all to know him. He wants us all to know him. So... Um, somebody's microphone is okay. All right, so, um, he just wants everybody to be saved, okay? He doesn't just want some people, he wants all of us to be saved. So today, what we're going to do, what we have learned, I want everyone to tell me what they have learned from all this before we finish, before we leave the line. Each one of us, tell us what you have learned. We're going to start from Mr. Benjamin. We're going to start from Mr. Benjamin because I, I, I couldn't hear from Mr. Benjamin too well today. So I Hello. want to hear his voice. Yeah, Mr. Benjamin, please. Brother Benjamin. Uh, yes. Uh, I learned about share, share okay. the gospel. Mm -hmm. Can you give us one scripture that you learned about the gospel, share, uh, sharing the gospel, or how to share your faith? Uh. Uh, uh, John 1 says, mm. Okay, Benjamin, we'll come back, we'll come back, look for it, okay? We'll come back to you. We're going to Brother Edwin and Sister Brittany. We can you unmute your mic, please? 
What have you learned today from everything? I learned um, why we need to share our faith. We need to share our faith because it is a command that mm -hmm. it is a command by God, and we need to obey God. And the Bible verse is Matthew twenty eight eighteen to twenty. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Let's clap. Let's clap for Brother Benjamin and Sister Brittany. Mm -hmm. Jesus, the best. Amen. Amen. I learned that from the kids' class. I love that. <laughs> so, um, Brother Edwin, do you want to do you want to tell us what you learned today? Yeah. I learned that we have to sh sharing our faith will be will let us be closer to God. Okay. We'll share your faith and let us give us give us give us one Bible scripture. Bible. John okay. chapter four, verse twenty-eight to thirty. John chapter four, verse twenty-eight to thirty. Clap for Brother Edwin. <laughs> Amen. Um, Brother Isaac, who want to go first? I've, I haven't I haven't seen Brother Isaac today. I think. Okay. Okay. I see him. Okay. Okay. Brother Isaac hasn't spoken, so I'll start from him. Okay. <laughs> Brother Isaac, you learned something. Just tell us what, something that you learned from the whole thing, the whole Bible teaching today about sharing of your faith. Were you were you with us or you just join us? Yes. Unmute your mic, please. Okay. Okay, but but I uh, but I think we are listening to you. Okay, and um, please, I learned I learned about um people need the word to believe. People need the word to believe. Yeah. Well, clap for clap for brother Isaac. Hey, this is the best. Yeah, good. People need the word to believe. That is absolutely true. If we don't preach, they will not hear and they will not be saved. Okay, um, Brother Isaac, can you give us one Bible scripture? From because there was a lot of Bible scriptures that we said. Can you just give us one? One. You don't have to even read it. Just give us one. Uh, uh, Romans. Chapter 10, verse 13 to 16. Romans chapter what? 10, verse 13 to 16. Verse 13 to 16? Yes. yes. What is there? What is there? Read for me, please. It's 13 to 15, not 16, okay? Okay. It's 13 to 1, one 5. Maybe you didn't hear me. Right. 1, 5, 15, okay? Okay. It's okay. You, you, it's okay. We'll pass on to Sister Nadia. It's not 16, it's 15, okay, everybody? 1, 5. Romans chapter 10, verse 13 to 1, 5. 1, 5. If you want to add 16, that's... Okay, brother, uh, Sister Nadia... Yes, auntie. Can you please um, tell us what you learned today? Okay. Auntie, please. I learned that man is lost without Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. And your Bible scripture? John chapter 14, verse 6. Amen. Let's clap for Nadia. Hey, Jesus, the best. Brother Fred. Man is not without Christ. Man is nothing without Christ. Man is lost. Man is lost yes. without Christ. Yes. Okay. And so you, you are supposed to go and bring man. Are you the one supposed to go and bring man to Christ? Yes. Huh? Yes, please. 
Okay, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do from now on? Um, I have to go and talk. I have to um, go and preach. And mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ loved me. So, Amen. 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 Let's clap for Brother Fred. Yay! Jesus the best. Yeah, God bless you all. We have learned a lot today. Let's go and do what we have learned. May God help us all. May God help us all to do what we have learned. Amen. Amen. Um, let's go this week and be strong and go and share our faith to our school, um, um, our classmates, our teachers. Tell them. Tell them. Get the opportunity, like we said. Find the opportunity, the time. You know, sometimes they will, the teachers will ask you something, and you also you chip in something. You know, use that opportunity, and God will bless you. Amen. Shall we all close our eyes? We are ending. Sorry for the time. Our time is not um, in the right place for us to close. But I thank you all for um, spending time with us, and 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 you know the patience and. The, the time that you took with us all. We thank you so much. I, I, I bless God for your life. Amen. This time we're going we're gonna to ask, um, when we started, Sister Brittany was the one that led us to pray. So we're going to ask a man, one of our brothers. Now we, we'll leave the sisters, the brothers, take, take the stand, please, for us. We're closing our eyes, please. Can you close us? Say a closing prayer. We are waiting for you. We we can't hear you, brother Isaac. Are you Fred? Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Brother Fred is praying. Amen. But I did wasn't a blame. and I was Amen. 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 God bless you all. We love you. We love you, Sister Sister Grace. Love you. Everybody love you. So let's go and be a disciple for Christ. Let's go and win souls for Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Love you. Bye bye. Bye.